and welcome back to Europe. I'm getting a little message telling me there's new upgrades available considering we're two experience points short of level 9. I'm going to call that a lie. Let's check our job market. And because we have our own truck now, we're going to hit the freight market. Where are we? We are in Nuremberg. Let's go for the greatest price per distance. From Nuremberg to Nuremberg. Wow, look, we can actually take a locomotive. Let's, no, let's just go for the absolute best price. The absolute best price is Nuremberg to Dortmund. Wrong way. Villach. Villach, Austria. Zerk. No, I'm, I'm thinking Austria is probably the better option. As much as I'd love to take a train, like I said, we're on our way down to Greece. We need to get to Greece. So let's start off by going down to Austria. And we'll work our way down the coast, into Croatia, and eventually Greece. Okay. Engine on. Please and thank you. Running lights. Parking brake. I almost drove right by it. Let's see our job offer. Yes, we are going to take 11 tons of smoked eel from Nuremberg to Villach. Villach. Yes, Villach. We're going to be driving for the DB Schenker Company, apparently. And I almost drove right into that truck, didn't I? Tie set trailer up. Third gear, away we roll. Now this is only an 11 ton trailer, so it's pretty light. I have to really force myself to look more left than I normally would so you guys can actually see the traffic coming. You see, here I can see all the traffic. Now you can see it. I guess the speed limit is 50 and we're doing 78. We should slow down a little bit. Just slightly. Off to Munich, or Minchen, Minchen. I, I think uh, a U with an umlaut is more like an I, so Minchen would be my guess. And Stuttgart, I know how to pronounce Stuttgart.
that was not a good idea to do. Ouch, we damaged our cargo by 10%. Pro tip, don't drive into guardrails. I don't know why I drove into that wall so bad. The only thing I can think of is I was actually been driving a truck this week. And our trucks are substantially lighter, so I wasn't used to having all that weight to stop. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Oh, I love that. You actually have a little turbo gauge that works now, see? Although that is a little wrong, because when you uh, jake brake, the turbos does spool up. Why are that guy's tires white? That's an oopsie. Speed limit's 120 around here, but I wasn't comfortable taking the truck around the corner like that. Especially because I've only got a single axle in the back, not a dually. Speed limit 100. No passing zone. Hairpin turns. Four degree descent. I am not looking. Look at that. Let's put our, our retarder on a little bit. And a speed limit sign. Fortunately, speed limit's 100. We're only doing 70. line a little bit on the right. That's not good. There we go. End speed restriction. There's literally no speed limit here. Nice! I love Germany. I'd love to just drop the trailer and just open her up see how far she can go. I know my fully loaded one, I've gotten it up to like 190. But that's just ridiculous. And there's another one. It has like white tires. What is up with that? There's another one. Look at that. That truck, when it gets far enough away from me, all of a sudden its tires just go pink and turn white. It's the strangest thing. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of um, or there, if there has been lately a bit of a clicking on my turn signal, like a little bit of an echo. Uh, for some reason my microphone is picking up my speakers and I don't know why. Because right now the microphone is, well, I've actually moved it. It's a little closer to me now than it has been. It's actually about, mm, a hand's width away from my eyeball. And that's because I'm too lazy to adjust the height of it manually to bring it down near my mouth level, you know, but it has been in the past like two foot away from my mouth. So I'm hoping now bringing it closer might get rid of the interference you get from the speaker. Stop hitting the brakes. Hit the brakes again, I'll hit your opal. Lights? Yes, my lights are on. Thank you. We just went airborne, guys. Didn't do any damage to my truck, but I did more damage to my trailer. Shit, and I was supposed to turn right there. I was so pissed off about that guy suddenly just, like, breaking in front of me, I didn't even pay attention where I'm supposed to be going. Oh my god, the people lately are just being terrible with that. I guess we're gonna take a quick detour to Munich.
problems with this game is that you need a little have you have to have a certain state of mind to drive it. And right now I haven't been in that state of mind. Like why is this asshole doing exactly 40 on the ramp? I understand the speed limit's 40, but that doesn't mean you do 40. Especially not when you're in the way of a big rig. Heavy congestion warning. Better not be congestion at 10 o'clock in the morning. Time to get back on the interstate. Well, it's not really an interstate, because it's... Well, I guess it is. It's just interstate with a capital S. Shut up. I can't get my RPMs to kick down. I just gotta shift, 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 and they don't go down. Disadvantage with the 18 speed. You get a much tighter tower, or power band, but that means you have to shift a hell of a lot more. I mean, like, a hell of a lot more. I mean, once you get over about 14th or so, it's not too bad, but... Salzburg and Innsbruck. That's definitely Austria. We're not going towards Prague. <sighs> so what's been up with you guys? Anything new and exciting? I really wish I would uh, have more free time to stream because, you know, then I could actually, you know, keep looking over here at the chat log while you guys are talking and actually interact with you more than, you know, than I do now. Fortunately, I don't get many comments in my YouTube videos, so there's not really much to talk to you about, but uh, if, you, if you guys want to, you know, talk to me, please um, say something in the comments, I'll reply, or... Maybe use it as a topic of discussion in one of our videos here as we drive together across Europe. Or maybe even a slow portion while we're waiting a city to grow or something, you know? We, we can chit-chat that way. It's it's not ideal, but hey, it's better than just me sitting here and lecturing you on some boring topic of the day. I want to talk to you today about estate taxation. Just kidding. Reality, I'm going to talk to you about the gift tax. No, no, I'm not going to do that either. Ooh, here in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. Something to be said for having an automatic. You just take your foot off the gas, and it does the rest. None of this shift, 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 shift.
whoa, don't look to the right while driving, Blitz. I tried to look at the monitor that's recording, and that was a bad idea. Let's grab fuel before we leave Germany, shall we? your own truck sucks. I thought I was in the process of shifting up. Look at this asshole. Let's just stop on the on-ramp. What the hell? I just dropped the transmission out of the truck. I hit the splitter button and it didn't actually take. Something can be said about having a lever instead of a button. You can instantly tell whether it's in the up or down position. That car just flew over the bridge. Do not adjust your control your TV set. We control the horizontal. We control the vertical. You've entered a strange and wondrous place where time and space have no meaning. The Twilight Zone. Before someone tries to correct me because I did that wrong, I know. I never watched the show. I have priority. Then why is that van cutting me off? What an asshole. I let the clutch out a little too early again. I thought I got a speeding ticket. I'm like, what the fuck? No, it says loan installments of 28.88 was paid. Stop looking to the right, Blitz. Whenever you look to the right, the truck goes to the right. I don't know why. Ooh. This is an interesting road. Why are your lights on, Blitz? You only your parking light should be on. Ooh. That's pretty. What the fuck? You don't pass someone on a curve like that. And his tires went white too. So it must be something with one particular texture is not loading correctly. I don't know why, but I'm saying forward in my seat. Oh, and some of my tires are coming off the ground. That's not cool. Hard to believe the speed limit here is 100. Watch the inside corner. Here we go. Don't ask. A 
Okay, hairpin turns are not very relaxing in a big rig, I'll tell you that much. In a car, they're fun. They're like, wee, wee, wee. In a truck, not so much. That's gonna be a wall. Damn it. How bad did we damage the truck this time? One more percent, and our car goes up to twelve percent damage. Joy and rapture. So see, the problem is, Blitz, you're driving like an asshole. Trying to make up time on a road that's not designed for it. Hi there. One of those villas up there. How'd you like to have one of those? Oh my god, this is such a beautiful area. I'm using so much fuel on this part of the, the road. Cause you keep trying to accelerate blitz, that's the problem. Just drive easy, relax. Keep your distance, Chewie. Try not to make it look like you're keeping your distance. I don't know. Fly casual. There we go. Rather than trying to gain and drive fast and save time, let's just sit back and enjoy the scenery. Wow, he's moving. Look how much better we are on the fuel economy now, see? See, Blitz? That's what you get for not rushing. And if you're curious why I keep looking over there, I'm trying to see what the time is on the episode, because I know I have a tendency to go too long. And, I mean, this one maybe will be okay because we have currently an hour and 40 to go, hundred, just about 100 clicks. So we should be pretty good this time. Entering a tunnel, turn your headlights on. That's not your headlights, dumbass. That is. I said not that one. Not that one. Thank you. Is that a Volvo? It is. <laughs> He's got the nicer cab. I want one of those. I love the trailer creaking noises, it really drives the game home. It gives you that sense of weight that was missing before. I mean, the fact that when you go to hit the brakes and nothing happens, that also gives you that sense of weight. Thirteen hundred liters of fuel, pretty much. We're good. Oops, we are, like, driving in the shoulder here. There you go, Blitz. There you go, Blitz. Nice and casual. 
get passed by some guy who doesn't understand the concept. Was that a VW? Ooh, the roof on that building kind of looks like a Wegmans. Is that a big spire? I guess it's supposed to be a church. You have to come flying around me and then you don't speed up. What an asshole. I hate the people who do that. Nice! I didn't go off-road this time. So ends our nice little scenic drive in the country and back on the interstate. I'm coming over! Do you not see me? I'm glad I hit you. I had my signal on. I'm coming over and he's accelerating. I am so glad my trailer smashed into him. Speed limit's 130. Nice. Das auto bound indeed. Do we want to go to... We want to stay towards Villach. Okay, the fact that he hit his brake scares me. That's right, I just did a triple downshift. That kind of looks like a Soviet-era building. I would not have expected that in Austria. All right. Helps if you put it in gear first, dumbass. Pro tip, big rigs don't like to do nudie drops. <laughs> Learn that one the hard way. Is that just a repair shop or is that a dealer? I think it's just a repair shop. We'll be back. Okay, we're going to be parking, turn off the Jake brake. No, wrong way, dumbass. There we go. Crooked, crooked, yep, more crooked than a Jersey politician. That's not going to work. There we go. That should do it. Like this, right? Nope, dumbass. Every time, I always put the wheel backwards. Like that. There we go. 
Surely that should do it. There we go. Detach the trailer. We got reasonable because we did a severe amount of damage to the trailer. Yeah, see, look at that. We started with 10,000. And we lost 7,000 of it. But hey, we're now we're level 9. Um... I guess we'll go with that one. Sure, why not? Give me all the ADRs in the world. If you're curious what we're doing, we're just going to drive back to um, the repair shop we saw and undo the damage of our last expedition here. Really? I had a green light, he drove right into me. I went from having 5 damage to having 19 damage. That pisses me off. I'll have to watch the replay on that one, but I'm sure I'm in the right. And he's probably dead, honestly. 10,000. Ouch. I would have been fine if not for having to pay for that guy's bullshit. Let's see what upgrades can we get. We can't afford the Globetrotter. We can't afford the 6x2. We don't have the executive yet. You have 59,000 to do that. Wait, what? Why would we have to pay... Yes, I, I want to cancel all modifications. This is the one I really want. Would be 27,000. Now, my fuel tanks get smaller, unfortunately, but... A, those are steering wheels in the back. And B, that double chassis here gives me a lot more stability on straights. This will be fine. We'll do it. Now that we have no money whatsoever, we're going to call it an episode. Actually, no. I'm going to go to sleep first. And whenever you do that, for some reason, it shuts all this off. I don't know why. I could just be a jerk and park, like, across all these bases, but I'm not going to roll like that. Not going to roll like that, either. That's how you stall the engine. Perfect. Parking brake on. Lights off. Engine off. Episode over. Until next time.